Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you another fun suite that is in the annual catalog. The suite is called Sweet as a Peach, and it is so cute. I love it. I think it's great for summertime. This is what this stamp set looks like. It has this cute peach and these other little ones, and then the greenery, some flowers, and all of these fun sayings and then the dies that coordinate it with it. So awesome. One of my favorite things in this suite though has to be the paper. Let me grab this so I can show you. Look at this beautiful paper. These peaches are so cute. And then all the designs that go with it, the colors that are in there, this splash of blue that's in there, it's just, oh, it's so, so beautiful and I have loved playing with it. So I wanna show you a few tips with this set um, and show you a few cards that we've made using it. So I wanna start by stamping a little um, note card with you. And I've already started some of the stamping on here just to quicken things up a little bit, but we'll go ahead and finish it together. Now, I love the peachy color that's in this paper, and I feel like you can't get it with just one of our stamp pads alone. I feel like it kind of needs that like two-toned look. So I wanna show you the way that I get that look. It's really so pretty and so easy. So we're gonna start, we're gonna stamp one of our, I have to remember how I stamped this. Okay, we're gonna stamp one of our um, three little peaches here. Okay, we're gonna start with that. And we're gonna start with Mango Melody, but I'm also going to use Calypso Coral. So I have both of those open here. And I'm going to start by inking up my peaches in the Mango Melody, just all the way. And then I'm just going to quickly dab it into the Calypso Coral. So it grabs a little bit of that Calypso Coral color, but not all. So it kind of gives it a really marbled look almost. Let me just show you. Just like that. And you can even see on the stamp alone, because it's photopolymer, you can see through it. You can see that two different colored look on there and it just makes it so pretty. So then I'm just gonna stamp this right down on my card here, just like that. So you can kind of see in there, both the Calypso Coral and the Mango Melody coming through. So, so pretty. So. The only drawback to using the two stamp pads is that if you, you want to use this again, you'll need to clean it in between or just stamp it off really good on your, your grid paper. Okay, the other trick is always start with the lighter color. Always stamp in the lighter color first and then go to the dark because the lighter color can kind of go in the dark, but if you do dark into the light, it's going to get the colors mixed on the lighter pad. So make sure you do that. Now let's do one more here. We're gonna use the big peach. And again, I'm just going to ink up my Mango Melody really good. And then just kind of dab it down into the Calypso Coral. And we're going to do one more peach right over here. Just like that. Okay, so cute. Okay, now I wanna show you the stems on here. I'm gonna use pear pizzazz, that's the green that's used in this paper. And I'm first gonna show you this, um, the leaves and the stems that are for these three little ones. They're so cute and it lines up really, really well. And now I'm kinda of looking, I'm hoping I didn't um, stamp my big peach too close there. I think we'll be okay. So you can see the stems are gonna line right up with the little tops of our little peaches and it lines up all three of them just perfectly right on those leaves. So cute, okay? And then we have the leaves for our big um, peaches. Now I haven't stamped any of my peaches yet because I wanted to show you this. This is one of the other really cool things about this leaf. You can use it either direction. So you can have your leaves facing this way or this way, depending on um, what you what look you want. So it's really nice that Stampin' Up made it that way so that you can kind of do it either way. Um, so we're gonna do this one. Let's see, I did it 
facing that way, but I stamped those too close. So I'm going to do it this way, like that. Okay. And then there. And we'll do this one facing this way so you can see, like that. Okay. So cute and so easy. I am in love with this stamp set. So let me show you the finished project that I have here. I added a little saying here in the middle. I used our um, circle dies and cut out a cute little sweet as a peach just to go right in the middle there. And then I added some rhinestones and just like that, super quick and easy, it's done. So fun. I also used um, the peach on the envelope here. So I have a cute little card and envelope that I can send to a friend. So fun. Something else I wanted to point out is I love to kind of um, do a card two different ways and see the difference that it makes. So on this one, I may, I used rhinestones. I thought that was really cute. And on this one, I used pearls and you can see it just gives it just a little bit of a difference but maybe you can use this for a different kind of event than you would use this for. So I, I love just that little change that can make a card be used for different things. So I wanted to show that too. Okay, let me pull in some other cards that I've made using this suite, this one. And like I said, the paper in this does so much work. So we have, have a peachy day, so cute. Here's another one, sweet as a peach. That paper, oh, I just love it. And have a peachy day. And this one, I have a little one on the inside too. So cute. I have loved playing with this sweet as a peach suite from the annual catalog. If you have any questions or have any comments, make sure you comment below. Um, if not, make sure to visit us at stampinjill.com. And thanks so much for watching another Watch Weekly Wednesday. See you next time.